Someone asked me if we would do a video on how we quit smoking, and I answered that person briefly um, in the comments. I'm not gonna say your name because I don't know if you want everybody to know that you smoke. Um, a lot of people smoke, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I answered that person, but then um, that person said, well, what about Kevin? So I said, well, instead of me trying to type it all in, we will just, we can make a video. And someone else said, hey, yeah, I would like for you all to make a video on that. So I got Kevin and we thought we would talk about how we quit smoking. My dad had a heart attack and- About the time Ashley was born, actually. When I, yeah, right when Ashley was born, he had a heart attack and he vowed, he made a promise to God. He said, if you get me through this, if you let me, uh, live and get through this. I will not smoke again. And you're talking about somebody who smoked he like was, two, two or three packs a day. Oh yeah, he was a heavy, heavy, heavy smoker. And um, so he he never picked him up again ever. At that time, my sister also. My sister. Um, I think that was the time she wanted the car. In order to get this car that she wanted, she she said i'll quit smoking and that'll that i'll be able to pay the car payment if i quit smoking i'll be able to pay for it which is amazing that you smoke that much to cover a car payment uh but she wanted the, that car that bad so she dropped them cold turkey she quit smoking she got her that car so that was two members of my family um my aunt never smoked my mom never smoked so then you're just talking about me and kevin so next kevin quit smoking and um talk about how you quit i don't remember when it was um actually it had to have been four it was uh, i wrote it down it was 2002. is that when we started yeah that's when you quit that's when i quit but you were just I quit a few like, months before me. like six months before yeah but i got to the point where i was taking a shower in the morning because that's when i took my shower back then i don't know why but i would take a shower in the morning and be just hacking and coughing and coughing up all this phlegm and mucus the crud and know? i was doing that too i i can remember i would talk to people in the middle can, of a conversation <laughs> and that phlegm oh yeah. and that's completely disgusting but, but can, it would come it up in your it's throat thick. it's so, very thick so i got to that point where it was it was hurting my chest when i would cough and, and it was just it was like bronchitis all the time and you had heartburn and i had heartburn horrible kevin had heartburn really I mean, bad um uh, Pepsi AC, Tums, I mean, it was awful. Yeah. So I said at that time, I said, I've got to quit because this is, my body's telling me this is not being good to me. Mm -hmm. So I literally, um, I, I bought a pack of the gum, the, the Nicorette or whatever. I bought a pack. I think I chewed one, maybe two pieces. And it's like, this is a waste of time for me. It doesn't work. It's a waste of time. And it was for me. Now, some yeah. people say that it works for them. For me, it was nothing. Mm -mm. Um, so I threw that crap away. And I just said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna quit. So I just quit. But that's how we quit the first time too. We just laid them down and we said, just, we're not buying anymore. We're not buying anymore. And it was very, very hard. And now, and it's hard. And you really, um, I know if you do smoke, you're wanting to know how you get through it. Honestly, I was a, I was a habit smoker. You smoke in the car to keep your, you know, because you were in a habit of doing it. Doing something in the car to and, keep you busy. And when you're on the computer, it was like the worst. I would fill an ashtray up while playing a game on the computer. I know. So, because you wanted to have something to do with your hands. So, um, those before, were the. Before dinner, after dinner. Yeah. After dinner. But those before. were the habit. You have to, like, you're, you're, if you look at you when you smoke the most, it's always, it's almost always the exact same times when you have that craving. That is your, your habit. That it's not tied to, I mean, the nicotine definitely is habitual, don't get me wrong, but it's also uh, just a habit of having something in your hand and doing something. Mm -hmm. Once you get over that breaking of that habit, um, of that time habit, then or the event habit, um, then it's it, it really the nicotine craving never bothered me, it was always it was the habit, the the timing uh, that always bothered me. So I'd be sitting at the computer and go. I had a cigarette. I'm looking around and didn't have any, so I would just go on. I would play a game or whatever. Um, get up, go get a piece of gum. Gum helped a lot too, uh, or suck on a mint, um, mm -hmm. something like that. So, um, but I think to truly want to quit, you have to you have to know it in your heart, 100%. I've got to quit doing this. I'm not helping myself. I'm not helping my family. This is I got to end this. 
Um, once you realize that like in your mind, I mean a hundred percent, then then it makes it a lot easier. Because we tried to quit a hundred times before and, and it doesn't work. Right. When you, when you kind of halfway quit, you know, you, I really need to and you don't really want to, but you kind of need to, but you know, you know you need to, but you don't really want to, you're never going to quit that way. There were, there were games that I would play on the computer. Like Kevin said, I would fill up an ashtray too. I was up to two packs a day when, when I quit. Um, and I quit six, like probably three to six months after Kevin. And the only reason I quit, I didn't want to quit. I didn't want to quit at all. But nobody else in the family smoked. Everybody had quit. Everybody had quit. So it was just me stinking up the joint. Um, I was spending the money on myself, which I do not like to do if you know anything about me. Um, I, I did not want to spend that money on myself. I did not want to be the, the one that was still uh, coughing and, and stinking and it just, it made me feel guilty. I quit out of guilt because- But it was strong enough to make you do it. Yeah, because I totally felt guilty for spending the money and for, I thought, you know, here Kevin's quit, we've got Andrew and Ashley and, and I'm the one doing this to them now. Now it's not both of us that are around these kids smoking, it's just me. Yeah, and, and $20 a week. I felt very, Getting very guilty. Away. Yeah. And it's even worse now. Yeah, oh I yeah. I think it's like $40 a carton or something ridiculous. Right. But I, there were games that I would play on the computer that uh, when I smoked that I went years and years and years without even wanting to play them because it was no fun anymore. It would trigger, and it would kind of trigger Literally, the like The Sims, I couldn't play it for years because that's when I used to play. I would play Roller Coaster Tycoon and smoke, and I would play The Sims, and I would smoke. And once I quit smoking, it's like, well, the game's no fun anymore. So I just, I mean, totally, I, I didn't, um, I didn't even want to play it, which is fine. I just didn't. I found something else to do. It would be so bad that I would dream about smoking. I would literally dream that um, that I had smoked. When once I quit, and I had quit for even months. I would have dreams that I was smoking and then wake up and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't really do it. And because in my dream, I started again and everyone was so disappointed in me and I was so disappointed in myself. Even my dad told me, my dad said that he had dreams where he um, smoked. And sometimes those, even though it's been, I quit in 2002, um, I was 30 years old. So even though it's been that long, I can still have a dream every now and again out of the blue that I've smoked and I've disappointed people. I, it's the same thing with weight. Um, I can have a dream that I've gained all my weight back and that I'm disappointed in myself. Um, a lot of people don't want to quit smoking because they're afraid they're going to gain weight. Uh, I, d I really don't think that's any excuse because uh, well, it depends on what you substitute in the place of your cigarettes. You need to have gum. Gum or you need low to have calorie mints. mints. Yeah. Yes, you need to have gum and mints. Don't eat cake. Don't eat. Don't. <laughs> well, don't. Donuts, don't. Don't have a full like full on candy bar or something when you want to smoke. Have something small. Yeah. Well, if you're not used to eating at that time anyway, then don't eat. You know, if you if you're used to eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you're not used to eating at those times, you would smoke. Well, then don't eat. Have a piece of gum. Have a mint. Uh, but honestly, that. That's how we quit. It, you know, a lot of people do hypnotism and all this stuff. I truly think it. you have to want to do yeah, it. It all has to do with how you feel. Just like with our weight loss, we had to want to do it. We had to get to that place where we were sick and tired of being overweight and wearing plus size clothing and not being able to shop in the regular clothes. We just have to get to that point where you want to do it, where you're sick of spending the money, sick mm -hmm. of sick of stinking and I promise you um, I can right now be sitting in the car Kevin will tell you and if there's if somebody is smoking in the car in front of us I can smell yeah, we're it. Using it smell. you can smell it uh, if someone if we're in the mall if it we've been in church we've been in all kinds of places in the grocery store we were in the grocery store um, just last night and somebody passed by us and I was like the smell of cigarette is so strong because you can just smell it. So 
Um, but quit and smoke, it's hard. It, it really is, is hard. very, very Once hard. Once you make it through the first, you have to get through the first like four weeks. Mm -hmm. If you can quit for four weeks, you pretty much have gone through the, the worst of it. I never had like dreams or anything like that. I had cravings for cigarettes just when I would do certain things. Or if you see somebody in a movie, yeah, it's it like, makes oh, you think about it. I'd like to do that, you know. Right, or that looks good, or the, or you know, that just just the sound of it, or you know, you can hear the little sizzle of the cigarette. And uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. If you can get through the first little bit, then you've got it made. And sometimes it's every fifteen minutes that you have to just get up and walk around, do get different. yourself busy organize a junk drawer, go through the attic, uh, uh, fold your clothes, you know, do... As long as you keep your hands busy. Keep yourself busy to where you're, you're not even thinking about it. And for me, because I was staying at home, you know, Kevin got to go to work, so he was busy all day at work. Uh, for me, um, it was, I had to reprogram what I would do during the day. And you know what? You used to take smoke breaks at work. Yeah. Oh, well, my thing was I was doing work I was doing calls and driving around from place to place and my thing was the car yeah smoking in the car um, but, but at the school at certain times there was yeah a group. once I started yeah yeah there was a group that yeah and I think outside. it's literally funny everybody everybody pretty much in that building quit except for one person yeah one person he still smokes yeah um, one person is the only person that smoked in that entire building at one time and I, would, neither one of us look down on people who smoke no, at no. all. No, no. I mean, if you smoke, you smoke. You stink. My but sister, you, but you smoke. <laughs> my sister started back. I have to say that. I, yeah, she, she did. You know, she, she was going through a rough time, and she decided that, that was a good thing to smoke. Me personally, I don't know how smoking helps you through rough times, but everybody says that, and I, I know what it took to get out of it, yeah, so I don't, I don't want, want to go back. back. Just right. like I know how hard it was to lose weight, so I don't ever want to have to go through that again because no. it's too hard. It hard. So once you've got gotten over that hump, you you don't want to go back to that place because it's it's just horrible. And there's so, so many things you can do with your hands now. Like like nowadays, they've got these adult coloring books. If you like doing those, if you have an urge for a cigarette. Get one of those little coloring books out and just color, or, or men or women. That's yeah. not just a, a woman thing. No, or um, go do a craft, or get on the internet and play Scrabble for ten minutes. And you know, Kevin, just what was that? You knitted or crocheted, yeah, or yeah, Kevin yeah, does yeah, all kinds of things with his stuff. hands. So yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do to keep busy. So, um, but I wouldn't want anyone to think we look down on smokers because mm. we don't. Like no. I said, my sister smokes. There's all kinds of people that smoke. It's just that. Um, you do, it, I do smell it, you know? Um, so, you know, if, if you're in that place where you're thinking about it, I hope that we've said something that, you know, will help you. I hope that, um, I hope that you can get through it because I know it's hard, but you will be so glad that you quit. Your family's going to be so glad you can save money. You know, you would not believe how much money, if you would put that money that you were spending on cigarettes, if you would put that into a little fund, at the end of the year, you could go someplace on that money. Mm -hmm. Truly, I'll you could. Off. Yeah, I mean, because it's a <laughs> lot more money it than you think it is. Yeah. So, I hope this has helped you all, and uh, we'll catch you next time.